everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name's Anne and along with my friend Wayne we run the Sussex Handmade Soap Company which is a small handmade bath and body business based in Battle in East Sussex. Gosh there's a lot of bees in that sentence. And we also run this YouTube channel where we create content showing us, showing you what we're making, what we're doing and what we're getting up to in general. And today we are going to be showing you our ripped body butter in chamomile and clary sage scent. The first thing we're going to be doing is making the base for our body butter. It is a lovely rich base. It is completely oil based and that means that there is no added water so we do not need a preservative which is good and the second bonus is that it makes it a really rich creamy formula and you only need a tiny amount to feel the benefits. Don't use too much or you will be rubbing it in everywhere forever. So a little goes a very long way and it is perfect for using after a bath or a shower or before bedtime and it sinks into the skin and feels amazing. We have added in some arrowroot powder to our um, chamomile and clary sage butter. I meant to say, but I didn't. That is purely to make it feel a little bit more silky and a little bit less greasy. Um, they don't feel greasy as long as you don't use too much and give it say 10 minutes to sink into the skin and it should feel lovely and soft and light. So chamomile and clary sage today, making the base first and then we're going to add in the scent and whip it all up. So Wayne is our body butter creator. He is the one that puts together our body butters and makes the base and whips up the actual butters as well. So I'm just going to hover in the background and we're going to have a little look at how he creates, well, firstly the base and then the body butters themselves. So firstly, he has weighed out some of our refined shear butter. And we do use refined shear butter purely because we tried using unrefined, but it has got such a strong smell that it overpowered the body butters, even when they were fragranced. So refined shear butter, but all the other oils we use are unrefined. And now we're going for, is that the coconut oil? Yep. Looks like the coconut oil. It is indeed. So this is unrefined coconut oil. And unrefined coconut oil has got such a beautiful coconutty scent. It is so strong, but if you like the smell of coconut, this really does smell amazing. We are running out of this, so we are going to need to order another bucket of it pretty soon. I think next on the list is going to be the mango butter that we get from the soapery. We're also running out of this. We're running out of a lot of things at the moment. We need to do some stocking up. And into our base, we put mango butter. I was about to tell you how much mango butter, but I'm not too sure because like I say, Wayne makes these up for us. I should know. 100. 100, there you go. 100 grams of mango butter going into our base. This here is our cocoa butter. We need another 100 grams of that. Right on the money, I bet. Oh. Yeah, okay, show off. <laughs> anyway, cocoa butter, I love our cocoa butter. It smells, it's really hard, really solid, and it smells just like chocolate. My hands are clean, I've just washed that coconut oil off them and given them a good scrub. That coconut oil, cocoa butter, sorry, smells amazing, just like chocolate. And now, we are going to slowly melt all of those oils and butters together over a low heat. Is it a low heat? Well, I do it pretty high to begin with. Okay. When it gets to heat, it gets to heat. When it gets to temperature, I take it right down and it just goes. Oh, okay. So we begin by melting it over a higher heat, kind of Bain Marie style. So 80 grams of argan oil going in now. Again, the argan oil we purchase is from the Sopri and we do use their organic cold pressed virgin argan oil. Jojoba oil. Vitamin E oil, the last thing that goes in. We only use a small amount of this. 10 grams? All right. 10 grams of vitamin E oil. Uh, vitamin E, some people call it a preservative, it is not actually a preservative, it is an antioxidant and that basically means it's just going to add that little bit of protection 
to stop the oils from oxidizing once they are combined. As I said, because that uh, because the body butters don't contain water, they don't need an actual preservative, but we find the vitamin E antioxidant just helps them to last that little bit longer. So one hour in, and we are still melting. There is still a little floating island of oil. Woo, steaming up there. <laughs> that needs to melt. So it is a slow process melting the body butter base. Probably got another, what do you reckon Wayne, 20 minutes, half an hour to go till it's all melted? Yeah. Yeah. And then we need to solidify it all again. So it almost feels a little bit pointless. But it's not because it's combining everything together. So an hour and 20 minutes in and all of those solid oils have finally melted. The bowl is obviously warm, so we stand it on a nice clean tea towel, mm. just so we don't burn anything. And now we are adding in the liquid oils that we measured out. So we've got the argan, the vitamin E, and the hoba oil. Once they are in, we just give them a quick stir to combine and all that's left to do now is actually leave these oils to cool down a little and when they've cooled down a little we will cover them and then place them in the fridge to solidify and it does take a good one to two days for it actually to properly solidify and when it has solidified we can move on to making the actual body butters. So Wayne actually makes our body butters, so I'm just going to hover in the background and film him. He is weighing out the base that we have shown you us making, or rather him making. This is our melted down base that is now solidified, nice and firm, and he is just weighing out the base ingredients. Once he has weighed them, he decants very gracefully into our mixing bowl for our KitchenAid, because we are going to be using our KitchenAid again today. So Wayne is now weighing out our arrowroot onto a light plastic plate. We're using very small amounts of everything today because to be honest, we're only making three tins of sugar scrub. We normally make more, but we are running very low on tins and somebody has ordered three, so we are just gonna make up her three today. So very small amounts of everything. Now, to be honest, I don't really spend much time watching Wayne making body butters, but it appears he is making a little well in the centre of the arrow root, which he is then going to weigh the essential oils into. The first one is clary sage, and we don't use very much of this. Clary sage is an essential oil that is limited uh, in how much you can actually use. It has small usage limits. And then to the clary sage, he is going to add in some Roman chamomile. How much of that we got going in there? That is 0 0.9 grams. As I say, incredibly small amounts today. Right, Wayne, what's happening next? It appears we are about to add our little concoction of arrowroot and essential oils down into our base. Is it whiskey time now? Whiskey business. <laughs> I could say anything because Wayne doesn't like speaking on camera so I can just uh, annotate everything. Right, we are whisking it now and the body butter base is generally pretty um, firm when it first starts whisking so it's probably going to take a little while to uh, soften up a bit. Right Wayne, I've stopped talking, you can start the... Uh So after we've given it a bit of a blend, we scrape down the sides just to make sure that everything is going to be nicely incorporated. So we are getting the um, remnants that have kind of splattered up the edge of the bowl back into the centre. And then I presume we're going to do some more mixing. Looks like I was correct and we're going back to mixing. Such a small amount in there. I'm not used to seeing it looking that unfull.
and you can see that after probably two or three minutes worth of whipping, the body butter is starting to get nice and light and fluffy. We're going to do some more whipping on it just to make sure all the lumps are incorporated really nicely and to make it really nice and light and fluffy because we like a nice light whipped body butter. So we're just scraping down the sides again now and as you can see it is starting to whip up. The first sort of five minutes are generally spent just whipping and scraping. And on the whole it's generally about 20 minutes worth of whisking just to whip it up really nicely so that you get that lovely soft light consistency. So we're just going to continue with the whipping and scraping now and then I'm going to come back in probably about 10 minutes or so just to show you how it has changed in consistency. So we've been whipping for about ooh, 15 minutes now I would say and as you can see the consistency has changed now and it is really nice and light and fluffy and just about ready for decanting into our tins. And you can see just how much that has changed and how much lighter it has become. Ooh, especially when I compare it to the base that is sitting down here with the spoon and is a lot harder as you can see so we've got the hard base <laughs> and the light and fluffy finished whipped butter and the final thing we do before actually getting it into the tins is just checking that there are no lumps of base left in there occasionally you do get the odd lump that needs to be whisked in but this is looking nice and smooth and ready So once we have got that lovely, light, whipped consistency, Wayne decants the body butter into tins and we are using 100 milliliter aluminium screw lid tins. These hold about 50 grams of our body butter and we sterilize them before using by boiling them, all the tins together in a large saucepan. Then we leave them to air dry and then we spritz them with rubbing alcohol as well, as well as spritzing the lids just to make sure they are properly sterilised before the product goes into them. And they look so good. Look how light and fluffy that butter there looks. We are now going to weigh them just to check they are the 50 gram minimum that we state on the label. And then we shall label them and make them look all pretty ready for our customer. So here we have a filled tin of body butter that we're now going to put the lid on and label up. And the final thing we do is place the stickers on the front of the tins. And then we stick on the reverse labels which give all of our information, so what it is, how to use it, all of the ingredients. so that the customer has got everything that they require there with an easy reading. And that is our chamomile and clary sage body butters. So I hope you enjoy seeing how we make our chamomile and clary sage body butters. They have all been sent out to the customer now, so I don't have one to sit and pose with, unfortunately. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, write us a comment if you want to. Let us know how you get on with your own body butters. It's always nice to hear what other people are getting up to and what they're making. So let us know, what are you making today? And we will see you probably tomorrow if I'm keeping to my video a day for 30 day schedule. Hmm, see if that works out. And until then, have a lovely evening. Bye for now. Bye.